Yeah, hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Today I'm in a forest and uh, you can see it's a wonderful weather here. Um, I'm going to make a special thing today. Uh, I don't know exactly what I should call it. It has something to do with uh, Viking Age and uh, Wilbur, uh, the Scandinavian uh, shaman, uh, as we say here in, uh, in Denmark. Uh, Wilbur was uh, a wise woman, uh, mostly women uh, in the Viking Age, that could be in uh, contact with the spirits, like in uh, most of the ancient people uh, that have lived here on the, on the earth. So um, now I'm going to find some uh, material for making my little thing, and uh, yeah, I hope you'll find it interesting and uh, like what you see. Then I have some food with me. Uh, and of course my coffee and uh, then I have some different things I want to talk about and tell you uh, about my channel uh, and so on so uh, yeah I hope you enjoy this wonderful day out here in the forest together with me today I don't have Cornelius with me because there's a lot of wild animals there's uh, moose or elks here and uh, yeah I'm not allowed to bring Cornelius uh, in this forest so uh, he stayed home and um, yeah uh, later this uh, afternoon, I'm, I'm going to make a trip for him, so um, you'll have a nice day too. But now I have to find some some materials. I brought something, but I have to uh, find some uh, some branches, some wood branches, and yeah. Yeah. 
And I brought this little saw. It's a replica of the uh, finding in uh, Mestermuir chest. And uh, yeah. This could do for the first one. Then I just have to find um, two more. Yeah, and I found these three branches that I will put together approximately like this. Yeah, and then you'll see. Yep. Then I think it was this one. Yep. Yep. Yeah, then I have joined them together, like this, you can see, and then I brought a special thing, this one a little drill. Yeah, yeah. And I just have to fit it here.
This will do. You can see here. Now I have to make it on the, the other ends too. Yeah, now I put it together, you can see here, but uh, to secure it, I use this rawhide uh, that I will attach to it. Rawhide is good because when it uh, dries, it shrinks, so it will be much more tight once this rawhide is, uh, is dry. So I'll just pull it over here. And you cure it like this. Yeah. You can see here. And on the other ends too. It's going to be very rustic, so um, it's okay if you look like like this right now. You can see here, and then the last end. Something like this. And now for the next step. I'm going to make some cuts here. That's with my little knife. And I think I'm going to make four. Four cuts on each side. I change it so I have only three cuts on the uh, these sides, the smaller one, and then I'll take this string, uh, natural cordage. Uh, it is a hemp rope or hemp uh, string. And I just attach it here, and then I just weave it in. Put it off here, take it off. Yep.
Lots of flies. Yeah. So you can see here. And then I'm trying to weave it in the middle. Yeah, like this, and then I have something special for this, yeah. and then I have this um, string that I will put some, uh, some bones in. Just again weave them in. Then the last one, I think. Yep. <laughs> this and uh, then I'll put this in the middle yeah like this And then, for the last part, I want to put some feathers on. Some feathers from a raven, I think it is. At least they are black. And uh, I'll put them down here. I think I'll take three. Now I put two more on, two more feathers, so it's five and all. Yeah. And then uh, I think I'll put this one on top. They are eating me, those bugs. But I want to be finished with this. I could make more, but I think I'll stop now. So, yeah, then I just have to uh, make some kind of, so I can hang it up. And for that I'll think I'll use this. <clears throat> yeah. 
think I'll see if I can put it in the sun so you can see it more detail. Yeah, and uh, this is what I'm going to eat today. Just a little thing I brought back home. The Vikings often did that uh, flatbread and um, some dry meat. And to top it up, I made some fresh cheese. And I made a video how you can make this. Uh, I put some shivers in, I think it's called. So uh, this is going to be my my uh, little lunch for today. And uh, while the coffee is cooking, I can start here. Yeah. Take a little bit of this cheese on and eat it with a piece of meat.
Yeah, and I made this little bag, a little birka bag. Uh, you saw my my big one I have when I'm out here. But then I thought I would make such one. And what it is for? Yeah. Perhaps you can guess that. It is for my phone. And then you say, well, Vikings didn't use phones. That's right. But nevertheless, I'm going to the Viking markets and I'm going to be a part of the team that are making it happen. So I have to have my phone on me uh, when I'm on the market so people can come in contact with me. And instead of having it uh, visible, then I'll have it in this one. And I made this so I can easily take it up. See? And then I can also put it down here. And uh, yeah. I made a little video on how I made this. So uh, go in and uh, watch it on my other channel, uh, DIY Kimber, if you want to. A cool little project. You can use it for other stuff if you want to, but uh, yeah, you can see I carved in some things or burned in. I think it looks really cool and I can have it on me on my Viking markets and still look like a Viking with a phone. And, uh, now I'm finished out here making my coffee and my, I had brought some uh, food with me. As I said, the Viking often used that. Uh, prepared back home and then have it with them and when they came to a rest they could easily eat and then move on so uh, uh, I think that was a good solution for today my project with my little uh, Vulva it's almost a dream catcher I know that but I think it looks cool uh, I'm very pleased with it uh, yeah but uh, before I go I have to um, say something. Uh, it's a little bit dark age for my uh, channel at the moment. I uh, don't get a lot of new subscribers. Actually, I'm losing some. Um, I don't know if it's because my videos uh, are not popular. Perhaps that's... Uh, I made some videos from the Viking market and uh, other stuff that people probably don't think is uh, good. I know all my faithful uh, viewers are uh, appreciating uh, all my stuff and I'm, I'm really grateful for that. But if I want to gain uh, more subscribers so I can reach the 100,000k, I have to do something. Um, I try to make better videos, but there's also another thing. I know that YouTube sometimes unsubscribe, so please, if you want to help me, Go in and see if you're still subscribing for my channel. Uh, that means a lot to me because, uh, uh, yeah, I said it before and uh, uh, then I get some response that there are actually people that are saying uh, they uh, aren't subscribing to me anymore and they have not unsubscribed themselves. So uh, for some reason, YouTube are doing that occasionally. So. Please go in and check if you are still a uh, subscriber for my channel and uh, share my videos and my my stuff if you want to do that if you think if you think that uh, other people could be interested in in uh, watching my videos yeah I'll be grateful for that but um, the primary uh, uh, thing for me is to make good videos so people want to see them and want to see more so uh, I'll try to do that, but yeah, you can help me in that way if you want to. Um, yeah, it's been a wonderful day, but a lot of uh, flies and mosquitoes, and I don't think if I don't know if you can hear it in the video. I think you can, and uh, it could be a little bit annoying. It was annoying out here. <laughs> uh, I don't know. They usually the mosquitoes usually don't bite me. Uh, so I don't think it's a problem, but when I made my things, my, uh, my little uh, vulva uh, dream catcher, uh, there was a lot of flies and uh, you get a little bit stressed about that. Now that the uh, fly is on, they are moving and the pipe is also helping to 
get rid of these uh, these bugs. Yeah. So um, I think that was all for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed this little video and find my little project interesting. Yeah, and then I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye.